What is up, Risk Takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy. I am Pete. I am a top player playing Risk Global Domination on PC. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do Fix Friday every Friday. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast, and I stream on Twitch as often as I can. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. For today's episode, we are continuing the Rank Up series, where we will be taking Chiquita Grinface all the way from Novice to Grandmaster. This is the Rank Up account, starting in the first position, Chiquita Grinface flying the Rainbow Flag of the Seychelles, 15 hours played, with 27 wins and 6 losses. I'm first act, and would you look at that start. For South America, the thing is, I don't love holding bonuses in progressive. When the star is this good, I think you take it. I'm line myself up to get a bonus on the second turn. We'll see how it goes. Settings for this game, as usual, we're playing World Domination on Central America. Six player, unfiltered lobby, 60 second turn, auto setup, expert, AI, we don't have any yet. Progressive cards, balance, blitz, dice, and nothing fancy, no fog, no blizzard, no alliances. I'm in the first position. In the second position, we have Dayton Lugaru, that is Werewolf in French. 26, flying the flag of Belgium. 7, 58 hours played with 3, 72 wins. And 1,167 losses. All right, Yellow has played a decent amount of games. They know better than to fight over a lost cause. In the third position, we have General Hiroda. 88, 29, flying the flag of Spain. 56 hours played with 19 wins and 83 losses. In position four, we have Jody Shishido, also from Spain. 117 hours played with 47 wins and 179 losses. In the fifth position, I'm a longsword from New Zealand. 123 hours played, 43 wins and 237. And in the final position, we have Bear Ashikaga from Denmark. 838 hours played with 503 and 1667. Okay, some good opponents in this game. I'm going to try and pay attention to who's moving fast and who I actually have to worry about. I think I take the South America bonus, but I don't guard it at all. The other way to think about it is I can work on this afterwards, and then I'll have two positions, but then I would completely lose any access to the north of the map, which I don't think I want. I think I want that two up there in Wisconsin. Um in Illinois. I think that's a very important position for my game long term. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two of my three troops up here. The rest there take one, but don't open this front. Leave the stack here and move that that way, unless the eight removes it now. Okay, so that's gone. So my furthest north position is in Louisiana. We'll see if this too gets removed then. Ideally, I'd like to be in three places. If I put all my eggs in the continent basket, I'll only be in one. I think green takes the white takes this, green takes this, blue takes this, red takes this. I don't know why they haven't. I'll try to start with a bonus. So this territory attacks um, in two directions. Panama attacks into Colombia and Cartagena and Bogota, right? So there was no way of me guarding that anyways, so I'm just going to let yellow break me if they want to. But I do take a bonus, which is something you probably haven't seen me do in this series yet. Um, yeah, so he breaks me. Sure. So... 
there's a lot of reasons why I don't like bonuses, right? The fact that I didn't guard means that that situation didn't actually hurt me or cost me anything, right? You can think of it as the loss of three troops, but those three future troops didn't exist. My positioning in this game is lousy, though. So I'm not going to live or die by the continent. I think I'm going to have to boost this and start attacking that way and line myself up to get kills when the kills become worth taking. Also, him breaking me there is probably a good thing long term for my game because now all eyes are on white. But red player doesn't really seem to know what they're doing. They really wanted Mexico for some reason. Okay, so there's nobody up here. Nobody wants this. Yellow is here, so yellow can sweep out of that corner. Central America has three corners, right? They have the southern corner. They have over here in Mexico, basically this this uh, western wall. And then they have the Newfoundland. This is actually my favorite place. <clears throat> Yellow's in it. So far, Yellow has been playing a really good game. So I'm going to be careful about what they do. Green breaks white, or green takes Louisiana. Green takes Louisiana. Okay. Interesting. So it looks like we're letting white hold the bonus. Yellow didn't have a problem with that. Maybe yellow sees my record and sees I'm a lot more threatening than white. It looks like we're doing the bad neighbor in this game, so nobody wins from holding bonuses. White doesn't break Louisiana, though. White retakes, I think. Yeah. Okay. I think all things being equal here, I skip at some point before I take my fifth card. And if I can skip while holding a bonus, that actually might be better. I, I add to my only exterior position, so I am in the three places, but they're all in the southern quadrant of the map. Yellow has put most of their troops in the single position in the top right. And is expanding out of there. Okay, so I need to remove yellow from this section. And then I can card skip at least holding a bonus. Really weird game so far. You guys don't usually see me playing to bonuses but it just sort of is the way the situation called for. The risk here, then, is that somebody goes, oh shit, Pete is getting too strong, and they use one of their larger sets to slam into me and not kill me, thus feeding me to someone else and ruining both of our games. Which is the big reason why I don't really like taking bonuses in Progressive. The other reason is you start a war of attrition, like, like the one that will inevitably happen with green and white. Okay, it looks like red wants the Caribbean. Actually, it doesn't look like red wants anything. Red doesn't appear to know what they're doing. Was red... Hmm. There's two Spanish accounts. Are the red and green accounts teaming? That's a possibility. Yes, they are. Red gets out of here. Green takes a second bonus. Doesn't break. Possible likelihood of collaboration. We shall see if red and green continue to work well together. So blue's going to break. 
Hmm. Okay, white holds. White punches some singles and pulls himself into their main position. This is a dangerous game I'm in right now. There's a lot of stuff here I don't like. Bad roll? Yep, of course I get a bad roll. Makes sense. Yeah, so I'm not following my own advice, and I have a very high likelihood to lose this game now. If nobody breaks me, I can card skip on four and have the extra three troops, and then I'll catch up. If somebody breaks me, either green, likely they can, because they're holding a bonus, or blue, then I will be pretty far behind. So, And behind isn't the end of the world, but it, it's not great when you're only in half the map, right? You won't be able to make the kills you need to make. So, if I hold the bonus, I card skip. If I do not, I do not. And I probably continue migrating the stack this way. Yellow's not doing much better than me, though. They do have a second position, but it's not strong. Alright, so what's red do now? I have a bad feeling red and green are on the same team. Red sets. I'm going to clean out Mexico. Roll 7v5. No. Takes the rest though, says you gotta get that fucking five out of here. Okay. I would love to get that five out of there. Yeah, so green and red are probably collabing. So I think we have teaming going on in this video. Green's gonna take that second bonus. I at least get to hold mine. Maybe blue breaks me. I don't think blue breaks me. I think blue has bigger problems. Five on one. So four is now buried. You can move that four out to here or here. You're not guarding against red. You're going to guard against white. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What does blue do here? Yeah. There's no way for me to card skip and preserve this five. I think the five is doomed. White sets and gets the six. Maybe I don't skip. Oh, and he breaks me? Really? That's disappointing. Why wouldn't you worry about green? Okay. He doesn't just break me. He pummels me. So now I trade on four instead of skipping because I'm so incredibly weak. Not looking good. 
It's not looking good like I survived this game. Have to get some lucky cards. Okay, so red finishes Mexico. At least this makes for a good video. This is a much harder game than usual. Yeah, red finishes Mexico. No shocker there. Guards here. With the six stack. Green will never hit red. Red will never hit green. Also, green has 10 troop <clears throat> interior guard. 5v2 wins. Blue is in two positions. Blue is almost the fish if this gets knocked out. Let's see if they set on four. is wasting their clock. Do something, blue player. Yep, they set on four. Okay. That goes into... Yellow? Oof. Blue, blue will kill me once this gets removed. I, I'm desperate to remain in multiple positions. Yeah, white's gonna knock me out and take a second bonus. So I'm here, but I'm not really here because this isn't a safe place to hide. Hmm, okay. The situation is quite dire. Maybe I survived a trade? I'm in two positions, a 10 and a 7. I have a trade on three. I will be spending this. Game is rough. <laughs> All right, yellow sets in. Green will be last to match. Green will get the 15. Good thing green is leaving troops inside themselves, playing it like it's fixed. Same with red. I think green and red. Pretty high confidence of green and red are team. But white's behavior is also very interesting. Okay, yellow all but finishes a bonus, doesn't finish a bonus. Okay, we let red hold Mexico. What does red do now? Do they show aggression to green? Didn't expect that. 
I expected that front to remain completely unguarded. Okay, green gets 11 troops for holding two bonuses and sets in with the 15. Okay, they're starting to guard up their second bonus. This is good. This is good. They're wasting troops guarding continents. What's the set? 20. I mean, I can probably kill blue. But it won't leave me with much. Oh, green breaks white. Green hits white hard. Do it. Please do it. Hit the fucking 10. don't. What does blue do in this situation? If I trade, I get the 20. Did I kill red? It's too close, right? To get three cards, kill 30 troops. sets me up to die by white. Damn it. I die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I die. I die by white. Damn it. What a rough game. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have to play another. Alright. Defeated. Uh, three beginners, an expert, and an intermediate. Okay. Ugh. What do we got here? Central is the map that we Three beginners, um, intermediate, and expert. And I don't think it updates right away, because it still says my rank is 10,000, and it's not, right? It would have gone down from that. All right, let's play another one. Hopefully I don't fall victim to the dangling jewel that is the first turn bonus. Sometimes it takes a minute for these lobbies to fire. I just want to shout out Phil um, for reaching number one on the world leaderboard. We hope Phil is the last man to climb the mountain. And uh, it's pretty cool to see. If anyone deserves to be number one, I would say. Risky Phil does for all he does for the game, teaching people how to play, and just generally being a solid human being. So I got nothing bad to say about Phil. Congratulations, sir. I'm very happy to see you take your place at the top of the leaderboard. All right, so for game two, we finally put together another six-player lobby. <clears throat> and do Central American again. 
Um, you know, I really, I do like this map. A lot of people don't love it. Um, it's kind of like my roots with Progressive. I, I played a bunch of Classic Prog, and then this would have been the first map I branched out into um, after that, because it's one of the premium maps, so it looks like the black player bought it. So we have a five-player game this time around, same settings. World Domination on Central America, 60-second Expert, no filter of the lobby. Progressive cards, Balance, Blitz, Dice with alliances blizzard and fog and are off i'm in the third position in position one we've general anno 12709 from croatia 29 hours played with eight wins and 74 losses they go for the louisiana start in position two we've broken chimera 30 from the united states of america 296 hours played with 113 and 461 i'm in the third position this is still the rank account chiquita grin face find the rainbow flag of the seychelles 16 hours played with 27 and seven in position four we've just throw money also from us of a 103 hours played with three wins and 31 losses looks like he just throws games and in the fifth position we have general cool carney 11388 also from us of a 77 hours played with 95 and 102 okay orange is good watch the fuck out orange all right, where do I want to be on this board? I want to be in the corners, out of the way. Take the top right, take the top left, and have a position in Mexico still. three down i'm surprised he didn't take the um the old northwest continent it's called o old northwest on this map yeah okay orange moving to take most of the caribbean that's fine you really don't want to be in the caribbean um you're just <laughs> roll 4v2 <laughs> rolls 4v2 and wins well done takes the caribbean on the first turn that's going to piss someone off, we hope. And someone will break. The bot, even. Where's the bot go? Bot goes in Mexico. Hmm. <laughs> and I lose a fucking three stack. Yeah, bot breaks. Good, 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 good. Okay. So, my furthest south position is the three stack in Florida. Don't love it. I don't think I want to invest in this yet. I think I'm happy to invest in the other two corners for the time being. Red's going to take Louisiana. That was a key break on orange. That slows orange down a lot. Bot is still strong, still everywhere. The bot's going to cause lots of problems for anyone trying to hold bonuses. <laughs> bring that up to a five but attack out of the other five second turn for purple Blue does take Old Northwest now. And we see them be a good neighbor to Red. I figure Red breaks that. Go in. Yeah. Okay, that was a good move by Blue. Okay. Orange puts in Jamaica. Roll 6v2. Hispaniola wins. Still has a weak guard on Caribbean. Three of my four opponents have bonuses. Okay, Blackbot puts in in New York. Rolls 5v2 and loses. Still sitting at 19 troops. Okay, Red gets to hold. Now they are in the driver's seat in terms of holding bonuses. Do they break blue?
So I'm going to want to clean out this now. I want to roll Newfoundland and Labrador such that there's nobody behind me in the northeast. Red breaks, good. Okay, red breaks. Orange will not be holding a bonus this game. So I'm going to add the insult to the injury, and I'm going to take them out of this pocket. What does purple do? Purple moves into here, I think. How did I know? Oh, but pulls back. Nice. Okay. Um, sure. My dice are not good today. Okay, so there's just the bot behind me there. Blue is allowed to hold a bonus. Blue is a strong troop lead. 27, no, red has 32. I'm sitting with a paltry 20. I really do need this stack to still live. Oh, puts it all in Mexico. What is he doing? We're just going to pull that four into the three. He's all in. No. Okay. I was going to say all in on the Caribbean train, but no. Yeah, this bot just loves stacking everywhere, huh? Okay. We lose. Blue loses their pocket in South America. Red now holds their bonus two turns back to back, sitting at 39 troops. I have to be in multiple places. Can't really stack in Florida, because that will be threatening to red. I think I have to move this stack up next turn. Depends on what purple does, though. We also see red being a good neighbor to blue, which is strange, because they went bad neighbor to, uh, to orange. Really strong guard on Louisiana. Breaks blue now. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to lose my three. What does purple do here? Purple stacks in South America. Hits the bots four. Purple would like to take that bonus. Okay. Um, sure, I, I have an obvious move I can cut up. At least I'm in two places. I'm trying to stay out of the action. I lose another troop. Man, my dice are shit. Man, my dice are shit. I think I stay at the normal sequence for cards. I'll get the eight trade. So far, I feel really good about being out of everyone's way. I don't love that this is my furthest south position and it's kind of surrounded by red. I'm going to lose that three in Florida. So I won't be able to make really good kills from those two, two positions. I would really need to be in a third place in the south of this map, which I'm not. I don't know how to do that, though. Maybe I move into Bahamas? Bahamas actually seems like the correct play because Orange stopped going for Caribbean. I think Bahamas is the correct play. Okay, bot sets in first, so I get the 10 instead of the 8. Ah, and they set in behind me. Damn it. That's fine. Only four troops isn't the end of the world. They weaken blue significantly. Blue's down to 18. What does red do? Red still holds Louisiana. They are still in the driver's seat of this game for now.
equals 5v3. Sure, I lose my 3. Okay. Being in two places is very, very fragile. Who can kill me? I don't know why I probably would put any up there. It looks like he's trying to take South America. Hits me instead. He's lining himself up to kill me? No. That breaks the line. Kind of still in three places with that move. Holding five cards, I'm going to get the ten. Who can kill me? Can orange kill me? How does orange get there? Can purple kill me? Can't get there. Can red kill me? Yeah, red would be the one. But they don't seem particularly well lined up to get, get me all the way there. So I think I survived to the trade. Orange sets in, gets the six, which means I get the 12. Cool. What are you doing with that six? Hmm. All right, bought a tax from Newfoundland to Nova Scotia. I think it makes sense for me to remove the bot from here entirely. Go break, break. Red is sitting on their advantage nicely at 46 troops. They're going to set in and get the 8 trade now. Yeah. Take this bonus. Okay, purple gets the 10, which means I get the 12. Ooh, are they going to hit blue? How hard. No, they're going to take South America. Leave the bot inside of them. Okay. What do we got? 12. So 6 and 6. This is a nice non-threatening move. I can, I can remove the bot from Nova Scotia later. I'm not really scary to anyone. Buys me another turn. I don't have a set on three. But it's hard for any one player to get all the way to the, the to the two top corners. Blue sets and gets the 15. Decides to fuck over purple. Removing one of purple's main positions. Purple is now in two positions. Orange retakes Caribbean. <laughs> yup. Keep poking him, Red. That 12 is going to get you. I like this. Okay, bot puts in. 
haphazardly all over the map. Punches a blue three. Okay, red still holds Louisiana. But they have much less in terms of exterior positions. Yeah, they take another bonus. No, take, take. Why wouldn't you? If purple has a set, blue's in trouble. If they don't, I think they just add here and move one over. Called that one. <clears throat> oh, pulls back. Doesn't even activate his 11. Okay, so I'm going to hit the bot. Nice, inoffensive place to get a card. Line my stack up. Not in New Brunswick, but in the top. So most of my troops are concentrated in the top of Canada. But they kind of go two different ways. The blue player breaks... Caribbean? <laughs> Sorry, Orange. Orange can't buy a break. No set on four. Ooh, that's not good. And they open purple's 11 sack. This is exactly why this player loses all of his games. 100 hours played, 10% win rate. You don't open your opponent's guard stack. That's for damn sure. If I had a set on four, you know? I don't want to be holding five cards. That sucks. Can I kill black? It's not really there, that kill. If I had a set, I'd kill black easy. Maybe somebody helps me in this section. Maybe the bot itself does something stupid and weakens himself. Let's see. Let's see if I get lines on black. Yeah, 5v4, maybe. No. Too bad. I can't kill 19 troops. Not like that. I'm going to be sitting with five cards. Very, very dangerous. Okay, right gets to take on the bot. If I didn't have to push through one, two, three, four, five extra, I'm I would probably go for it. But it's it's this, this path is the problem. Okay, purple sets and gets the twenty. Let's see what they do with it. Do they punish blue? Do they punish blue hard enough that I can kill blue? I think so. I think they're going to try and kill him right now. Let's see if they win. Got to split a little bit. Yeah, they're going to try and kill blue. Excellent. Let's, let's see them fail. 11v3. Leave 3 behind. Fail here. 5v4. Fail. Yeah. Okay. Can I get there, though? can't so because I can't 
I have to sit on five fucking cards, which is the worst. Okay, so blue has it set on four. We assume they're going to throw that into purple. Yeah, now we're talking. Purple is going to be down to a single position. Blue is on a rampage. I just have to survive to trade. Who's going to trade ahead of me? Red's going to trade ahead of me. Red is being very conservative. Orange might. Orange could kill me. If orange trades and is fast, orange could kill me. Let's see if they do it. 30. Coming in. Fuck, don't kill me. Fuck, I think they do. Fuck, I think they kill me. <laughs> Twice in a row in this map. I die. No, they're killing the bot. They're killing the bot. Glory, glory, hallelujah. They're killing the bot. Okay. You're going to take the bot's cards. This is really good for orange. <laughs> then what happens? Still have enough time to kill me. Their stack isn't really open. I'm gonna kill blue or hurt blue. Okay, they're hurting blue. Red will set for me. I'm actually not terribly worried about red. Red doesn't seem to understand how to play progressive. So I'm going to set in with the 35. With the 40. Okay, so I get the 45. Ooh, it's rough not having to set on four. Okay, can I kill blue and purple? That's how I win this game. I have to kill blue and purple. How do I get there? So 14 stack here. That does it. How do I get there? Fuck, man. This 20 stack just blocks a kill. Yeah, you see how red's playing it really, really slow. Trying to guard out. Waste most of his turn in draft. Takes a bonus? Yeah, who cares? Nobody cares. Alright, what does purple do? I think I kill purple, set, kill blue. That's the line. Kill purple, set, kill blue. Good. That's how I win this game.
holding five cards. I'm at 91. Orange has 68. Orange will be the fish if they don't set on three. Let's see them do it. This game is over. Yeah. No set on three. I win. Orange knows he's dead. Red is playing far too slowly to do anything meaningful. He can have his two bonuses. I'll hold the rest of the world. Okay, Red sets and gets the 55. What do you do with 55 troops? 69. <laughs> I like it. It's my 30. Lol. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So I need 15, 10, 4, and the rest. No. I need to add there too. There's four pockets. Okay. So we got 25, 26, 15. Red sticks his tongue at me. A little bit better this time around. I don't think we moved quite up to where we lost, though. So when you're at this stage, you go out sixth. I went from 10,884 to 15,303. So we'll bounce up somewhere to, like, 13k. But you need multiple wins in a row to make up for losses at this point. So two steps forward, one step back. For a bit till we hit GM. But the record's going to give me 28 and 7. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative. If you are interested in getting better with the game of risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me 
I have a daily release on YouTube. I do Fixed Friday every Friday. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast, and I stream on Twitch as often as I can. And we are defeating two beginners, an intermediate, and an expert. Let's see if we see the rank change. No, we do not. Two beginners, an intermediate, and an expert, and one bot. Hope you all enjoyed, and until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games, and good luck.